and welcome to Aris Exchange's video tutorial of our hedge ratios webpage. The hedge ratios page provides sample hedge ratios to spread Aris standards versus other Aris standards or to spread Aris standards versus Treasury futures. This allows users to view the hedge ratios required to create DVO1 neutral portfolios. By the end of this demonstration, you will have learned where and how to extract the hedge ratios on the Aris website. Let's get started. To access the Hedge Ratios page, go to the ARIS website, www.arisfutures.com, and select Hedge Ratios under the Execution Navigation Bar. Once on the Hedge Ratios page, you will see a chart displaying ARIS Futures and Treasury Futures. This chart displays how many contracts are needed to create a DVO1 neutral portfolio with 100 ARIS futures contracts or 100 Treasury futures contracts. For example, if you wanted to compare how many 10-year Treasury futures you would need to hedge 100 ARIS 7-year standards to create a DVO1 neutral portfolio, then you would scroll to the ARIS 7-year and scroll over to the 10-year Treasury future. 87 contracts of the 10-year Treasury future would create a DVO1 neutral portfolio versus 107-year ERA standards contracts. Note that the chart gets updated regularly and is timestamped for when it was last updated. The Hedge Ratios webpage also displays DVO1s, which is the change in NPV per contract for one basis point change in swap rates across the curve, as well as PVO1s, which is the change in NPV per contract for a one basis point change in the contract's fixed rate. Users can view this chart to see how the Hedge Ratios are set, specifically with DVO1s that are listed. ERIS standards versus comparable Euro-Dollar bundles is a popular way to trade between LIBOR-based instruments. It is important to note that while the notional of an ERIS contract is $100,000, the notional of a Euro-Dollar is $1 million notional, and each Euro-Dollar contract has a DVO1 of $25. The total DVO1 of a Euro-Dollar bundle will be the number of bundles multiplied by 4, which is the number of contracts per year, multiplied by the tenor of the bundle, multiplied by 25. Lastly, viewers can learn more about hedge ratios and relative value trading by clicking the relative value trading icon at the bottom of the page. Hedge ratios can also be found in platforms like Trading Technologies and Bloomberg. Let's go through a quick example of how hedge ratios for an R7 year standard against a 10 year treasury future can be extracted in Bloomberg. To access hedge ratios in Bloomberg, first type in the name of the contract you would like to view. In this instance, we will look at the 7 year September R standard and type LIBU6 commodity enter. Next, we will go to the Fixed Income Hedge Ratios page by inputting FIHR Enter. We will then change the risk to F for forward CTD risk and hit Enter. Once complete, the user can see the various hedge ratios for different instruments including the 10-year Treasury. The hedge ratios for a 10-year Treasury future versus the 7-year ERA standard is 0.87. This means that for every 100 ERIS 7-year contract, 87 10-year Treasury futures would be needed to hedge the DVO1 risk. We hope you enjoyed the tutorial and now understand how to leverage the Hedge Ratios page to spread ERIS contracts against Treasury futures or other ERIS contracts. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at sales at erisfutures.com or call us at 888-587-2699 and select 2. Thanks for tuning in.